Thanks for listening to the AZ Wildcats podcast. I'm your host, Mike Luke, joined by Jason Shear. Hello, Jason Shear. How are you doing? Splendid, Mike. How are you? All right. I got to give Shear a lot of credit. Shear, I've been scolding you for a while, but I got to give you some real credit right here. And this is something important. I saw Shear uh, leaving, uh, talking with Brett Brennan. I can confirm an acceptable shirt, pants, everything. Shear, you stepped up to the plate right when people needed you. Hey, you know, at, at the end of the day, uh, I'm here for the people. You All right. Me now, uh, now we got a lot to get to here. We're going to talk uh, football coaches. We're going to talk player movement. Uh, what did Quinn Magnuson, our guy Q Mag, say? Um, can you read this tweet? Uh, Quinn Magnuson, father of the great Leif Magnuson on the football team. What did he say? Uh, you want me to read it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, duh. Well, you just put it on. Like, you didn't even tell me. You barely set it up. All right, so uh, there's been ahead. some NIL issues. Uh, which one do you want? The NIL one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. And keep, keep in mind, Quinn is the Quinn is the man. We love Quinn. There's multiple. There's three big Quinn tweets. Okay, uh, let's hear. Let's hear. I've been talking to him also. Just so we don't get out of hand here on Twitter, Joey Medina and Desert Takeover reached out to me. We had a good discussion. Desert Takeover is doing everything to right the ship. They want to keep all the players. It's not just simple math. Uh, the big thing is, I'm not going to speak for others, but from what I'm hearing and seeing, this team is a more of a family now than ever before. When people start doing what's best for the families, when great things happen, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, I can tell you that that matches up with what I've heard from a lot of parents, that he's, people are like, oh, why isn't he on the road recruiting? Why isn't he doing this? And, and I even asked him today, he's like, my number one priority is keeping this team together and showing them that because they were so close and they loved each other last year, if they keep that going, we can do special things. We can do special things. We can do special things. We need to give a lot of credit. All right, now, Dennis Walsh, the great Dennis Walsh. There's going to be a lot of greats thrown around here. Um, the uh, I noticed Dakario Davis had a tweet about being in the portal that's now deleted. Is this true, Jason? Sure. You stalk all of these people on social media. This is true. Did he delete it? If he deleted it, that's very good. Don't get me excited, Dennis Walsh. Uh, all right, I will might, talk. I will actually. talk. Will you look, Sheer? He might have, but here's the thing. Also, um, I'm gonna look at my Grammy Graham. He was never in the portal. He has he has yet to enter the portal. Like right, people just have so to know, Sheer follows like, all of these kids on Instagram. Is yeah. that weird or is that not? Mike, you're gonna get a hard hit when you realize that it's not weird. So he still has it on his on his Grammy Graham. Uh, they, so, but right, again, they, like, he's not technically in the portal. That might happen in 45 minutes when they do another release, I think. But yes, Leaf Leaf is back. It's late. He says Leaf. He we've talked about this. No, it's no, Leif. his father said oh, Leaf. Listen, listen. It is Leaf, but he calls him Leaf. So there's really no wrong wrong thing. Oh, there is. There is. Um, um all right. He's coming back. I could confirm Josh Baker, offensive lineman, has told people that he's coming back. Gunnar Maldonado tweeted out a picture today of him in the locker room. My bad, Gunnar. Get the A in the background. I think you're going to start Jack Luttrell, who even though he hasn't played. Um, supposedly, Jed invited him to a visit at Washington, and he said, no, thank you. I like it here. So you're going to start hearing about guys that are staying here in a bit. Yeah, all right. Yeah, Takario's tweet was deleted for whatever it's worth. I rely on all of you because I am an imbecile. Um, all right, now, Polito. I don't want to get into this a ton because I have the ultimate respect for his father. I think Robert is the man. I th And this, I have no inside information on this whatsoever. None. I'm just reading the tea leaves. I would have met. He, it, that kind of feels like that's Washington lean sheer. Yeah, this is tough because we both like Robert. We and like no Robert one. a great deal. Um, you, uh, I just think that like, look, here's, here's what's going to happen. So I hear from many people that Jed mishandled money and you're going to get two camps, right? You're going to get the camp that believes the collective and the camp that believes Jed. And if you believe Jed, you're probably going to wind up at Washington. And if you believe the collective, you're probably going to stay at Arizona or go to neither. Right. And I think that Polito right now believes in Jed and. Uh, there's no guarantees. I don't know, but I would lean towards Tim going back to Washington. 
But Ro like I said, Robert's a good dude. He's a righteous dude. Be, be good. Be good to them. And people out there, I got to say this. You guys are all doing a great job. We back the A. There's a real family here. Don't tweet at kids telling them to stay. Just tell them if you want to tweet at a kid, just say, you know, I really appreciated your contribution and really hope you make the best decision for yourself. There's really no reason. These kids know what they're doing. Just tell them that you're in their corner because, again, this is a very special group of kids. Um, now, uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about Jonah Coleman. We're going to try to get the tough news out first because we have a lot of good news. You're going to see a lot of this. Um, although, I'll, also, you're one of your senior staff writers, Erica Day, calls you Skier now. That's very, very oh, come on. Hey, Erica, I'm not going to put the all right now. Many people ask, where did Skier come from? I yeah, will go tell, tell you, jerk. I will tell you, but I will not tell you the source of it. You could probably <laughs> figure it out. So there's a person in the uh, high up at the U of A that Shearer has not gotten along with over the years, um, who uh, I am very close with. Um, and uh, he said, uh, one time he said to me, he said, yeah, this Jason Skier really has a problem with me. I, had, I kept it and I have referred to him as Skier ever since. Um, so again, but either way, both these guys back the A at the end of the day. That is it. But we do call him Skier from now on. Um, now, uh, back to, uh, oh, that could be anyone, Eric Zimmerman. That was very funny. Um, all right. Now, uh, Jonah Coleman is, uh, it looks like he's on his way to Bama. Says with a question mark, he's flying all over the place. So it does feel like. Maybe he just likes getting free stuff, but this is clearly one of the players that is, uh, unlike some others, that is clearly looking around. By the way, Mike, big, big news while we're just on it. Remember I said guys are going to start tweeting that they're staying and all that? Yeah. Alexander Deuce just said he's good. Tweeted a bear down with him in the U of A flag. My man, my man. Back the A, baby. Back the A. All right. Um, but uh, well, I don't remember. What were you asking me? Uh, let's see. Uh, we're talking about, um, Jonah, Jonah, big Jonah. Yeah. Or little Jonah, little Jonah. Uh, yeah, I think he's in Seattle. I think he's just messing with people. I'm not really sure. Uh, it, it is very apparent. Like look around the, the, the dude wants to be wine and dine. And I think he's a unique case. Also, uh, I believe I'm like 90% sure he had a kid. So like, that's a little different too. So, but again, like, I, I want to emphasize, and we can't emphasize it enough. Don't get mad at these kids. Don't do it. Don't right. be that dude that goes at parents or kids or whatever. Um, it's and don't not tell them what to do. Just tell them you support them and you appreciate everything you've done. That goes a lot, lot farther than telling an 18-year-old kid that, hey, dude, we need you to come back here. That doesn't do anything. It doesn't work. It just – and I, to whoever asked, I did retweet the deuce thing just now. It All just right. doesn't work. They don't want to hear it. You, and you got to understand – you're talking to them. The neighbors talking to them. The the agents are talking to them. The coaches are talking to them. It's it's insane for these kids. All right, give you an idea here. And again, I'm look at me throwing out names, <laughs> but like with I'll give you an example. Like with Les Fafita. Les is my guy. I talk. I got to got to know Les fairly well. Guess what? I guess since this has all happened, all I did is I just messaged him and I told him I said I just want you to know that you've uh you know you're always going to be a wildcat incredibly support uh, you and your family and um if there's anything i can do to help but definitely make the best decision for your family and he hearted it and he just said he said that means a lot that's all you do peeps and again i'm low on the iq's totem pole so if i can figure it out you guys can figure it out but however you did text duke brennan and say now that your uncle is here you will transfer or i will come get you oh, man can you imagine if that's duke oh, by the way we have found out in the last I found out Roxy Bernstein told me, and my head exploded, that Duke Brennan is indeed related to Brett Brennan. It's his nephew. By the way, David Blattman, the great, great David Blattman, joining us, joined us on uh, bar, joined us on uh, 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 the post game the other day. Everyone follow David. Not that he needs any more followers, but go ahead and follow David. Appreciate you there, big dog. Um, all right. Now, uh, some other guys. Noah Fafita, T-Mac. Um, listen. You can take for what it's take it again, take this for what it's worth. It's not done. We, I almost need a disclaimer at the beginning of the show, like the bet MGM disclaimer that it is not done. The situation is fluid. Here is what I am going to say though. Um, the, the, uh, 
the people around the program feel pretty good about where Arizona is now. And they did, uh, I had five or six people tell me that they said at their meet and greet that they were coming back again. Take for what it's worth. This is not done. This is not set in stone. I'm just saying that it does. Uh, things are good. Things are things are le- seem to be headed in the right direction here. Man, you just said it like 40 different ways without saying it. That was actually impressive. Uh, <laughs> I just don't want anybody yeah. coming back to me and saying you promised something because I didn't. Uh, yeah, I would say that as of this is how you do it, Mike. You ready? As of Friday, January 19th at 4:14 p.m. Things look good. Yes. Okay. Yes. As of now, could that change? Sure. Do I think it's going to change? I would say probably not. I think there's a better chance of not than that come back. But I, I you got to wait. I think they want to see who the OC is. We've heard some rumors, Mike. You know, oh, and, we're going to speculate on the rumors. And Brett, Brendan, I even asked him, I said, are you just telling these guys to hold off on like a few days to meet their position coaches? And he said, absolutely. He's like, they have 30 days. I said, take a deep breath. Let's spend the next week getting to know each other. I'll talk with you. My coaching staff will be in place. And he's like, it's all, and this was very impressive. He goes, it's all about relationships. He's like, I want these guys to get to know me as much as possible. And we can develop a deep and personal relationship. All right. Now we're going to get back to the players here. You know, you know, who's been very quiet in all of this, maybe the best NFL prospect on the entire team, big Jonah. Hurt yeah. nothing. Uh, my guess is he's just waiting to see. Now, look, I, again, don't, everyone be nice to me. The I, had heard one, I had heard at one point that Big Jonah and Wendell Moy were close to, to leaving. Mm-hmm. Um, but that could have been when the big Polynesian Johnny Nansen thing was going on. Right. So right. I think it calmed down. I don't really know. I just find it hard to believe that, like, Jonah and Moy are going to leave Noah. You got to understand, like, the Polynesians are, <laughs> they're basically right. one giant group, right? Yeah, they are. It's like me and Sheer. Yeah. Yeah. Where, uh, wherever I go. Shelby saw, uh, I didn't answer Shelby's text right away today. She goes, you must be on the phone with Mike. You got, the, said, boy the, the, go- you got the boy and talking. the goy. Or the. Wow. That was. Is, is goy is a non-Jewish term, correct? Yeah. That's not something you should be using prominently, Mike. I thought that that was an actual term. Uh, it's it's not the best term. Oh, I will. Oh, sorry. But it's a anyway, little derogatory. But oh, you know, derogatory. I, I apologize. I thought it was for a non Jewish person. My well, you're, this is probably your last episode. It's fine. Well, yeah, it's okay. All right. Now, <laughs> all right. Anyway, now back to the uh, back to the back to the polys, though. Uh, speaking of which, let's talk a little bit. Uh, let's talk a little bit of Dwayne Akina, my friend. Uh, uh, Dwayne Akina. Now, I asked, uh, today I asked, um, uh, I asked, uh, what's his name? Brent Brennan. Um, <laughs> man, sorry. I didn't actually didn't know. That. <laughs> um, uh, the, uh, I asked Brent, I asked Brent Brennan and, uh, I asked him, I said, you know, what do you think about, um, what do you think about, uh, uh, Dwayne Aquina? And he stopped and he said the, uh, and he said, Honestly, he said this is the uh, this is the best. Um, he said I think he's the best defensive co- or defensive backs coach in college football history. That's how uh, that's how he and he said I clearly uh, he says and I have the greatest amount of respect for him as he should. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, no, it's not official. Nothing's official until it's official with coaching. Uh, but obviously, I think we can safely say he's going to have a position, right? right? It could be DBs, safeties, corners defensive coordinator i would lean towards some sort of defense coordinator it could be co-defensive coordinator that's not out of the question but it is very apparent because again like the other day in the presser brennan mentioned him by name you don't do that unless he's in the back like you i don't even know if you legally can do that if it's in the back right. so i do wonder if he ever signed anything at texas i'm curious about that i'm curious about that as well i don't um, think he did because right. he's currently we know he's in tucson right now, so, I am I am curious about that, but listen, when I was talking to him and he said, and he knew everything about it, it was almost like he's looked at his resume before talking about, um, talking about, uh, um, uh, Dwayne Aquina. He says, listen, when you coach three Thorpe award winners, when the best one, Chris McAllister, isn't even a, uh, uh, isn't even a, um, one of the Thorpe award winners, 
that's something 11 first round picks. He said, I'd love for somebody to uh, come up with that. By the way, don't read Dwayne Akia's statement because it's, it's incoherent. He I don't know be on Twitter. I think, I, I think the the statement was basically like, I want to be the one to tell whoever I'm, whatever I'm doing that I'm doing it, you know? Right. But I don't really know. Uh, yeah. Like it's funny because I write these previews or pre-write these hiring articles and you look at their profiles and you get a lot of stuff from that. Dwayne Aquinas is literally like 3000 words. It's just like, he coached this guy, this guy, this guy, like this many Thorpe award winners, this many all Americans. It's like, good Lord. Yeah, no, it's And again, Sheer was wrong on this one. Sheer was wrong, 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 wrong. No, I'm not wrong. You were wrong. What do you mean? I never wrong? said he couldn't coach ever. Right. I said he could have recruit, <laughs> and we don't know if he can recruit. You also said that that's not all you said. I said that's he's not- old. He is old. You said, and you said, do we need an old? Yeah. Do we need an old ass white guy to be a defensive he's coordinator? Not he's Hawaiian. Well, he's yes. That was when you told me that that was big news. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. I mean, so, come on guys. Come on. <laughs> All right, now, fluid, Mike. All right, but either way, Dwayne Aquina, as long as he's on the staff, I was talking with Anthony uh, Jamino. What does that guy really know? Um, Sheer actually likes Jamino. And Jamino said, I don't care if he's the dude that's opening doors. I just want him around the program. That's all I want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, it, even if he's an analyst, like, you want him around you, right? right? Like, his intensity wears off. The players very clearly like him. You want guys like that around the program. If you're, and, and let me say this, there's some other guys, oh, this, I probably shouldn't say this, whatever. There's some other guys that may not be, want to be around the program unless they're a position coach. Right. And they're probably not going to be a position coach. So that's when you find out who the real ones are. Like Akina was around the program as an analyst and eventually got promoted. If he was offered an analyst position at Arizona, he, he would take it still. Right. And by the way, ASU sucks. Very good term. Very good name. Arizona, I can very much listen. I haven't talked with Brent Brennan about it, nor would I. I can guarantee you that Desmond Roebuck will be getting another Arizona offer. I can assure you of this. Guys, let me let me just can I just say this for a minute with recruiting? The guy was just hired, right? He it, it, there's 2025 guys, 2024, even if he's new, it's, it's gonna be portal guys. It right. just is at this point, unless there's some guys that they have, but it's it's gonna be portal guys, right? Uh, unless there's guys that get out of their NLI, this, this staff is going to recruit. I think people need to understand the order. Like, what are you recruiting to? Well, if you keep your team through the 30 days, that changes the entire game. Right. Oh yeah, for sure. All right. Now let's talk about some of the things that people need to know before we get into all of this. Now, circle K, here's the question. Everybody is asking fellas, what are the chances that he's been to circle K? Honestly, what do you think? Has Brent Brennan been to Circle K? That's actually a tw- that's a good Twitter poll I question. A, I have no doubt in my mind that in the Bay Area he's been to Circle K. I had no a, I really messed up not ta- asking him about Circle K today. Ask him about OGs too. He's probably had some OGs. Oh, uh, but uh, so I asked him about Circle K. Now, do we think that he's in the inner circle? That one I don't know. That one I don't know. Okay, now. Join Inner Circle for free by downloading the Circle K app today. Terms and conditions apply at participating locations. Visit CircleK.com for details. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And one other thing. Game time. Sheer knows somebody that used game time. This is true. It's not a lie. It's true. Best friends. All right. Best Who is friends. It? it was just a guy I met in a hotel lobby, but we bonded right. very quickly. Anyways, you might say to yourself, what does game time do for me? What doesn't it do for you? The question is... Have you, if you don't know how to get to a game or say you're like me and you're going to the Frank Caliendo concert tomorrow <laughs> or you're staying, concert. he doesn't sing or a concert or the comedy show, which is, I love the term comedy show. Um, but, uh, so, um, yes, uh, I don't know where I was going with that, but you could probably use game time. Here's the deal. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code PHNX for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code PHNX for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. I'm actually going to tweet that out. Do we think that uh, Brent Brennan has already been to a Circle K? That's actually a great tweet. Now, guess who else I asked Brent Brennan about, Jason Shear? Del Taco. 
<laughs> no, I didn't. I actually oh. really dropped the ball here. There was a, by the way, is fam staying? I listen, it's all, it's all fluid. <laughs> guys, here, let me answer for you guys. We have until February 14th until people can enter the portal. But so every time you ask us, it can change the next day, February 14th. But I do, uh, again, I don't have the confidence level I do with Noah and T-Mac, but I feel, if you are to ask me, is fam staying or is fam going? I'm saying fam is staying. Again, disclaimer, it's fluid. I feel good about fam, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's where, that's where we're at. With, that's where we're at with fam. Uh, the Kia boys, we'll get to those jerks in a minute. Um, All right. Dino Babers, though. Dino Babers. All right. Now, Sheer doesn't know who Dino Babers is. Um, so I'm going to tell Bashir who Dino, ba Dino Babers is. Um, first of all, his daughter went to Soling Tom Elementary with my daughter, or my daughter, my sister. Wow, no. well, that's the, that's the story of the day. Mike just said he has an, an illegitimate daughter that we've I have a 33-year-old illegitimate daughter. I oh, started, man. I started well, that's very young. I've started very young. Um, we all, we keep that to ourselves though. On this show. <laughs> Nobody's listening. So it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, that's big news. Yeah, no, it is big that's news. Big. Um, okay. Now you take care of yourself, but gosh darn it. That daughter was. Perfect. Yeah, no, she was fantastic. Exactly. But Dino Babers, my friends, Dino Babers, um, uh, the OC of the best offense in school history. And not only that, not only that, um, he uh, he's obviously very connected with Dwayne Aquina. They've known each other for over 982 years, going back to Hawaii. Um, listen, I know you're not the biggest Dino Baber. No, I don't have any kids. Um, but uh, Dino Babers, uh, Dino Babers would be an awesome, awesome hire as the OC. Can we agree on this? Yeah, I was talking to your daughter the other day, and we you know were, that's going to uh, become a thing now. Oh, 100. Um, yeah, look, it's a rumor. Emphasis on rumor, but the vibe I get is as of now, Friday, January 19th or 25th, is that I, I don't think he's bringing his OC from San Jose State. I think he's right. going to hire someone else. Um, and if not, I will say with confidence that he hasn't told the OC that he is coming yet. Right. Um, that's a big hire to me because you got to be able for them to work with Noah, with T-Mac, and really moving forward. Um, so that, to me, is a very, very important hire. I think he has enough defensive guys in his arsenal, like his connections with Akina and, you know, Odom, if you want, and all that, where it's it's fine, right? Like, I, I am confident in his coaching staff on the defensive side of the ball. I'm very curious about his offensive coaching staff. Yeah, but I, I, Dino Babers, though, Dino Babers knows offense. Um, Dino Babers knows Arizona. That would you be don't think that's too old? Would those be the two oldest coordinators in the country? Yeah, but dude, age is only a number, man. Um, How old is Babers? Babers is 62. Did you know that Babers was born in Hawaii? I didn't know that. Hey, guess just, what? Hey, you know what, Shears, you're just finding out? Unlike Shear, I didn't become an Arizona sports fan in 2009. It was in 2009. When was it, 04? No, oh one, right? Two thousand. Okay, all right, oh one. All right, now let's talk about Alonzo Carter. Your guy, oh, yeah, he wasn't great at Syracuse. I get that, but he wasn't. It wasn't like he was terrible either. Um, but listen, as an OC though, I am in on that all day. Um, now, uh, let's see here. Uh, Alonzo Carter, your guy, Alonzo Carter, running backs coach, Alonzo Carter. Um, I don't know anything about Alonzo Carter, but you're a big fan of Alonzo Carter. Yeah, I think he's a, a superstar waiting to happen. It's very difficult to recruit to San Jose State, but when they got a good player, he usually had a, a hand in it. Um, I would assume that Brent Brennan would bring him over. Who knows? If he doesn't get the job, maybe the new coach makes Carter the OC. I, I don't know how that's going to work, but um, I would assume that he has an offer. We'll soon get an offer to join the Arizona staff. And um, if he doesn't get the job, then there's a good shot. But from what I understand, he's probably one of the top three guys at worst uh right all right my so, only question here oh by the way Caden luke fam 2.0 yes please fam i swear to god if jetfish tries to take Caden luke it's on at that point now again i gotta still find out ways to get back at jetfish we'll we'll talk about the we'll talk about that in a little bit um but first uh let's see here i i do have a question about alonzo carter because i know very little about him other than the wikipedia um here's all i'm going to ask because a couple people have asked this as well um Obviously, he's got a great reputation. Even Anthony Gimino said he would be a home run hire. And listen, if Anthony Gimino, the sage of the Southwest, 
and the venerable Jason Shear both agree on it. It's probably true. My only question is this. Why has he been at San Jose State his whole career? Generally, these guys move around like Dante Williams was in and out of there in a uh, New York minute. Uh, yeah, but Dante Williams is a, what's the word? A mercenary. Uh, yeah, I don't but know. He, but it's I don't not, know. Yeah, I realize mean, you know, Carter you know. has been, Carter has been for six years. He was at San Jose State. Uh, I don't know. I really don't. Like, I, I don't. I don't have a, a good explanation. He's from the Bay Area. That I know. He was the head coach of Contra Costa. He was at Berkeley High. Like, he's from Oakland. Uh, so his whole family has been in San Jose, like, his entire life, basically. So that, right. that could have something to do with it. He's All right. But either, way, but either way, he's a good coach, though. Six kids. Okay. Six kids. And it's not Mike Luke. Five more than you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the front office structure of the staff is the building staying the same. It's going to mimic the NFL front offices. Yes. You know, yes, I agree. Well, now, one thing, I, I don't like giving Jed Fish any credit, but I got to give Jed Fish some credit on certain things. He definitely understood the dynamic of how to sell this program, how to develop kids, um, and that was a that was a big part of it. I So, again, I would like to keep a lot of that in play. You want to know something crazy? And I guess, I guess Brennan told Lev this. Um, they had one recruiting guy at San Jose State. Just right. one. Jet Fish had, I'd say, Murrah, Hawkins, Doherty, I'd say 10. Right. And our boy Dave, according to Brennan, our boy Dave said, hire who you need to for the front office. As many positions as Jet had, you'll have. That's what I, I you know what? That's that's a lot of, pro again, let's let's talk to Hiki for a second. Sheer, we got to give Dave an A. Back the Dave. Back the D with the hard capital A. Back the Dave. Right. I always back the Dave. I even tweeted back the Dave. And I followed it up with back to Janet. Oh, you did. My mom got on there. My mom got on there. As I'm trying to stop Twitter beefs, my mother is jumping yeah. in there asking what's going on. Where's Robbins? All right. Let's talk about Robbins for a second. Robbins has bigger issues. Um, And not only that. We can safely assume, and everybody, I always hear all the mid-major Dave stuff, <laughs> but this was 1,000% Dave's hire. This is who Dave has always wanted. This is who Dave, uh, this is Dave Hickey hire, my friend. Uh, Yeah, I would say so. I mean, it, I, I think Robbins gave permission and all that, but he certainly wasn't as hands-on as he was. And I mean, he basically ran uh, both searches in, in a way. This one was hands off. This is Dave's guy, 100%. So good good for Dave for uh, getting the ability to go out and do his job. Yeah. All right. I'm being serious. I'm not being that's an the most sheer. That's the most no, sheer. No, 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 no. I knew you were going to say that. So that's why. I was, no, I'm serious. Like there hasn't been an opportunity a lot of times for him to do his job of hiring a football coach. True or false? Um, Football coach, yes. Football yes, coach, yeah. Yes. That's what but I meant. He was yeah. far more involved in the Tommy Lloyd hire than anybody yeah. out here wants to say. And again, we will back the Dave to the end on this show. I talked with here's, I talked with Dave the other day, and I'll tell you one thing, man. This is a happy camper right now. This is a very happy camper, and Dave deserves it. Dave deserves happiness. Dave deserves happiness. He does. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sure. Now, Jordan Washington. That's a great question. Is Jordan Washington sticking with the Cats? Is he going to keep back in the A? So the issue is, and it's not really an issue, I don't know, is that he's actually playing here in about an hour and a half, I, I think. Is it about an hour on NFL Network? Yeah, in, in, the poly, in the poly bowl. So I doubt he's had a time to really digest everything. I don't know. I don't know with him. I'll say, like, Rashawn Clark is gone, you know. Yeah. He's, he's going to go to Washington. He's from Seattle. I don't really – whatever. Washington is up in the air. I don't know. My gut tells me he'll go to UW, but I don't know. Right. Okay. Yeah. That I, I have no clue on that one either. Here's, it, here's the deal. You might disagree. I wouldn't get upset about losing any recruit. Yeah. I, I really wouldn't because I they've never seen leave. the field. But it is somewhat interesting, though, that you made you made this point as well, and it was actually a good point. Um, by the way, Tony Jones came on the show the other day. Tony Jones confirmed AJ Jones is in. We love Tony Jones. We also love uh, we also love Kevin Green Sr., part of that very cool group. Um, where was I going with that? Uh, you were telling me how smart I was. No. You made a good point recruiting uh, high school kids. Um, oh, it is interesting 
No, that's this is C. No, he hired Tommy Lloyd, Andre Barris. Get out of here. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, I'll stand on that one. We love Tony Jones. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, Washington. Um, hmm. I said that it didn't matter if. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Don't you find it kind of interesting that all of these there these players that have met with, and again, this could all change. Uh, these players that have met with Brent Brennan have at least stuck around for right uh, uh, right now. The players that met with Jed Fish, pff, out. Yeah, it is funny. And I'll say, like, most of these portal guys entered the portal, and we'll see who's coming down the pipe here in about 20 minutes, if anybody. Um, but they entered before Brennan was even hired. Yeah. Like, I know that for a fact. Like, Jonah and uh, Prysock and Burnett, like, they could very well stay. It would not surprise me. Um, so we'll see, but yeah, it's funny that like Washington is hemorrhaging players and I'm sure they've got a bunch of dudes on campus that, um, you know, they're, they were in contact with and they're going to try to bring in. Yeah. Okay. So again, we'll find that one out now. Um, looking at, looking ahead a little bit, I would imagine this staff is going to be in place here very shortly. You got to remember the San Jose state job is open. Um, so the, you know, some of these people are going to want to see if they can get that job like it, Alonzo Carter, but, um, uh, we'll find out by the way, Eric Zimmerman, we're going to shoot back on this right now. Eric Zimmerman. We love Eric Zimmerman. I think you guys are being too optimistic on the transfer portal. We have said many, many times that this is, uh, you have said many, many times, or we have said many, many times that this is, um, uh, very fluid. Yeah, I, what do you mean optimistic? I don't know See, what we're talking about. Stuff. I'm right. not optimistic or pessimistic. Right. Just this. But um, so, anyways, all right. Now we'll find out what's going on with that. Either way, I'm totally cool with Brendan. Um, now let's let me see here. If you wanted to bet on something, let's say you wanted to bet on anything, what do you think about the BetMGM Sportsbook app, Jason? Sure. I, I fantastic. I'm I would bet on Arizona, UCLA okay. tomorrow. I would as well. We're going to talk about that in a second. But first, sign up for the BetMGM Sportsbook app. Use bonus code PHNX. Place your first BetMGM Sportsbook wager through BetMGM Sportsbook mobile app for at least $5. You will receive 158 instantly in additional winnings, regardless of your wager's outcome. Check out the show notes for de full details. Um, all kinds of good stuff with the BetMGM Sportsbook app. Um, let's see here. DH and, oh, one of the super snaps. Uh, DH and Brennan should bring in Gronk and Brewski and others to meet the team. Eh, probably will. Um, now let's see here. We're going to get to a little bit of basketball and now listen with Jonah Coleman. I'm not going to do the sheer thing where you just pretend a player isn't good after they leave. Jonah Coleman's clearly good. Jonah Coleman okay. also was that. Of course he's good. He said he's not good. Hey, I was waiting for you to say that he isn't good. Um, oh, big all right. But Jonah, Jonah. Coleman, it's, it's little Jonah, by the way. Um, Medium well, Jonah. All right, yeah, medium sized Jonah. And there's it's funny. As as no one reaching out to Robert Polito, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I'll say this. Um running back is the most easily replaceable position in football now. It just is. Um that's just kind of the way it is. Um again, you don't want to lose Jonah Coleman because he's got an all American type potential. But if this comes down to any of the uh, Servite kids or a Jonah Coleman, not that it's you know an either or. I will take all three of the Servite kids, and I will take a number of other players on the roster as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it just in, in the NFL too. Running back is a pretty easily replaceable position. Uh, there's guys in the port. Look, I don't want to sound like a jerk, but like San Jose State probably has a running back that could transfer to Arizona and be okay, right? Right. If that's the, if that's the route, I don't worry about running backs. And you I also have Speedy Luke. You also have Brandon Johnson. You could also go and get another one out of the portal. I just don't worry about it. Adam Prim. Adam Prim. Very, oh, no, no. Tony Clifton, the great Tony Clifton. If uh, we will load up in the spring portal, agreed. But let's get, uh, by the way, we're going to make fun of Mick Cronin in a few minutes as well uh, to uh, end the show. All right. Now, um, would uh, rather keep Prysock and Takario over Coleman? Totally agree. And again, that's not a diss towards Coleman. It's just that it's you have two NFL cornerbacks. I can deal with it. I can deal with the running back. I can find somebody in the portal. And like Brent Brennan said to me, he goes, um, uh, you know, he said, uh, <laughs> Brent Brennan said to me, um, he said, uh, you know, we've had all conference running backs. We can get running backs. And he wasn't talking about Jonah Coleman. He was just very comfortable in his ability to get running backs as any coach should. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think he's running backs. I, I don't, they're a dime a dozen. And, and I love Jonah. I think he's really good. I think he's, 
one of the better running backs in the country, but there's a way that you can make up for his production. The, you know, it's just, they'll be fine. All right. We're going to talk basketball here in a minute. All right. But first, Illegal Pete's. Do you think Brett Brennan's been to Illegal Pete's? Probably not yet, but he saw it because I know that he was at Frog the other night. Yeah. All right. Ring in the new year with Illegal Pete's weekly deals. Kick the Monday blues with $3 margaritas all day or ease your way back into the week with $2 tacos every Tuesday. Do you work in healthcare or education? To take take your time, uh, uh, take your team to lunch at Illegal Pete's every Tuesday and enjoy buy one, get one free entrees. Woo-hoo. And don't forget to unwind after a long day at their uh, happy hour, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Illegal Pete's, your go-to spot for buddies, burritos, and beer. Okay, now. Um, overall though, Brett Brennan has done all of the right stuff. Um, now let's talk a little bit. We're going to make fun of Mick Cronin here for a minute because Arizona plays UCLA. There is no <laughs> Mick Cronin is too short to get into illegal Pete's. Um, yes, they do have military discounts. Oh, by the way, drinks DPA eight, five. You asked, you asked about, a uh, bat or a women's basketball coverage. We have just the person for you. Erica Day has joined Wildcat Authority as the uh, senior women's beat writer. She is very close with the team. She is very close. Uh, everybody in the round the program knows who she is. She knows her stuff. Sheer, make the case for Erica Day. I Once again, I make a very solid hire. I fired Mike. I don't plan on firing Erica. Uh, yeah, she's good. And you know, look, this is going to sound bad. I don't have a large interest in covering women's basketball because I always found that the the return wasn't necessarily the investment, but right. the return with Erica has been great. She writes well. It's, it's you know, she's passionate about the program and, and people love her. So do yeah. it now. No. Follow her on Twitter. Yes, for sure. We just, yeah. So Erica, well, I, Erica, I think has jumped out. Hey, you should message Erica right now and say, we've been talking about, we've been talking about her while I talk. Message her right now and say that she needs to go back and watch this. Oh, calm down. I will. Okay. Now, uh, all right. Now, Mick Cronin. Is there anything more enjoyable than watching? Now I know they won a game, but is there anything more enjoyable than watching uh, Mick Cronin absolutely, um, absolutely self destruct in the way that he has? The only thing I could think of was ASU the other night getting forty seven technical fouls. Right. But no, like I love like so the the media in McHale. If you guys don't know, it's by the visitors bench, and if there's like a psychopath coach, like I'll just watch him instead of the game sometimes. Right. And then, and, and that's going to be like, I am so excited about watching Mick Cronin tomorrow. Yeah. Mick Cronin is awesome to watch. Nick, Mick, I almost said Nick Cronin. Mick Cronin is the gift that keeps on giving. And not only is he the gift that keeps on giving, um, let's be honest here. He deserves everything because he's a jerk. Yeah. He's just not a nice, like, I don't understand. Like, look, I've said this before. Bobby Hurley is a jerk on the court. Really good dude off the court. Right. I, Cronin doesn't have that vibe. Like I've never had anyone come up to be like, man, Mick's the coolest, nicest guy ever. Like he's just, he's not. And you know, the, what's also funny about it is the, uh, the European, um, the European, oh, Hey, Oh, Andre Veris. This is very, very mean. Andre Veris making fun of me. Where is this at? Um, hold on Andre. Oh, Jason knows how to build a great, a great team. Scott, Scott, senior editor, Scott Schlittenhart, Sh- Shelby, Erica and got rid of Mike. I can't, uh, I can't really complain about any of that. Jason sure. I, I do whatever it takes to make sure that people get what they want. You need to have Erica on the podcast. Sure. Whatever. She would 1000% do it as well. Yeah. So absolutely. anyways, yeah. So there's the, uh, there's the question. Jonah will be a huge blow again. You don't want to lose him, but at the same time, it's a running back again. It is what it is. Okay. Now, um, UCLA though, this has been our, this is the last year where Arizona's going to play UCLA in a conference setting. But let me ask you this, Jason Shear. Why in the world um, is, is Mick Cronin back next year? Because it does seem like he's trying to behave his way out. It's tough. They better fix the NIL and stuff like that. Because once a coach goes public with that stuff and complaining about it, it becomes very, very difficult. So my gut tells me yes. But man, that Louisville job is going to be tempting. Why would Louisville hire him? I wouldn't. But oh, by, by the way, way Marcus, have we considered that maybe Erica is Michael's daughter? <laughs> that would at least that would at least make more sense than my uh, sister. My sister's. Uh, I'm not that old, people. But I can. How old is Erica? Even I don't know. About yeah. younger right. than us. 
All right, Tony Jones, the great Tony Jones, BTFD, let's go back. The A, Tony Jones has confirmed the great AJ Jones is coming back. Tony Jones, we were talking about you earlier. I do have bad news for Tony Jones, though. Tony Jones is very familiar with the Kia boys, or he knows who they are. The Kia boys finally took my Kia. I have been driving around in my father's car until I can get a rental tomorrow. I have to figure out what I am going to do for my next car, but it will not be a Kia. I will put it to you like that. I am tired of being a target. Um, Now... Let's see here. Uh, all right. Now, Chuck Cecil, I get to ask this question a lot. I have no problem saying this at this point. Chuck Cecil is an all-time great. Chuck Cecil provides nothing to Arizona football. Um, again. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I don't. Listen, and I don't compare him to Ricky Hunley. I've had many. I probably had a half dozen people tell me this. Now, listen, Ricky Hunley's got some, you know, some physical ailments, all of this. But Ricky Hunley, when he can, is engaged. Ricky Hundley with Chuck, it just kind of, you know, I, I think they, I'll put it. The only thing I'll say about this is they can, um, Arizona can do better than Chuck. I salute Momoji, everything Chuck's done. Arizona can do better than that. That's all. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like Chuck. Life is great. Everybody's great. I just, eventually you got to stop and get away from that. Hey, this guy went here. So I'm just going to make him a position coach kind of thing. Right. Like I you mean, can have him on the program, have him as an analyst. But if you're asking me, do I want Chuck or a guy like Chip Viney, who's a 30 year old, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's things that are, you know. Yes. Brandon. Yeah. Brandon is, I, I'm going to put this. Brandon is, Brandon is invaluable to everything that goes on at the U of A. He is, Brandon Sanders is the absolute man. Um, you talk about a dude that backs the A through and through. The, uh, okay. I want you, I want Chuck Cecil on staff. Well, again, it's not something I feel super strong about. Plus I don't want to get canceled for trying to get rid of Chuck Cecil, but at the same time, uh, you know, it is I just, my, my case is always when someone says I want Chuck or I want Ricky, that's, that's fine. And, and my question is the same, uh, that it would be with, with anyone, well, which is well, why, let me why? ask you this, Brad Rich. And again, Brad Rich, you're much smarter than me. But why why should he be on the staff? He can be right. an analyst, but why should he be on the staff? That's my only question. A staff, a full-time position. Because you're not going to find anybody that is going to say that they're getting the bang for their buck with Chuck Cecil as a full-time coach. You're just not. Sorry, I was reading something that just broke. What what break? <laughs> The United Campus Workers of Arizona, so the union, which is the faculty and the teachers and all that, uh, have called on Robbins to resign. And what is this again? The people, the, what is it? The the union representing the faculty, staff, and student workers at the U of A. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that means. Anything, I don't but. know what that means either, but here's all I'm going to say. And again, the financial, the academic stuff, that's way above my head. As you can know, guys know, I'm a buffoon. But I'm going to say this from a sports perspective. I want Bobby Robbins to stay here. Um, it's very rare to find a president that actually likes sports. Bobby Robbins likes sports. Um, you can look at the other option right up the street in Tempe for somebody that hates sports. And you can see where their program is at. You can look at Cal. You can look at Stanford from a sports perspective, strictly from a sports perspective. Bobby Robbins good for Arizona athletics. Uh, yes. Yeah, for sure. Um, sorry, I'm doing more stuff. We might have a portal entry or, or stuff. Right. Uh, yeah, for sure. I, I mean, at the end of the day, um, Bobby Robbins likes sports and you know, I, <laughs> we're a sports website. Yeah. Um, so, you we know, are it, bias. yeah, I mean, look, I love academics. I'm all about academics, kids. And I went to UVA, but I mean, if you're asking me if I'd rather Arizona be really good at books or sports, I'm obviously going to choose Who sports. So. We both graduated from the U of A. Some of us have too many degrees from the U of A that apply nothing to what they currently do. You can choose who that person is, but that would who's the uh, who's the portal entry? Uh, trying to confirm it, but I can say it, and I've heard this one for a while now. Who? Uh, Isaiah Ward. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. His dad played for the Seahawks, dude. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. I miss. Uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, that's a bummer. Well, no, actually, no, it was no, 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 not yet. Tia Sevea looks like he might be in it too, if you care. 
Yeah. Isaiah Ward is not in it yet. I'm 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 finding out now. All right, BBN. We do not want to lose BBN. Um, let's see here. Uh, but uh, school president Chuck Cecil is actually. And also, like, I want to like again clarify something. So, like, everyone's saying that uh, I'm looking at Isaiah Ward, seeing if he said anything. But everyone's saying like, Braden Dorman uh, withdrew. Right. He enter. Right. That's the thing. Like, just because a guy tweets, yes, yeah, uncle plays the Seahawks. Thank you. Just because a guy tweets, um, doesn't mean like he's in it. Like it's it's just that that's just not how it works. Like you got to actually enter the portal. All right. On that note, Sheer, we've done really good work. Everybody out there, appreciate you a uh, big time. Um, his uncle's Bobby Wagner. I totally forgot that. His uncle is Bobby Wagner, and not like a friend yeah. uncle, but a real uncle. Yeah. So obviously, I would just assume they're both going to go to Seattle, <laughs> right? Yeah, and Tia Savea, you said, is in as well? Uh, it's not official. I Someone messaged me, so I'm I'm looking and I'm trying to... Real quick, to basketball people. prediction for tomorrow, and we're going to get back heavy into basketball, Audrey Stevens, but... Um, the, I think uh, 19, I think 19 is a lot of points. Yeah, I, I'm back in the A. I'm going Arizona 90, UCLA 72. You think Arizona's dropping 90 in UCLA? Oh, I do, I do. I Just because I want it to happen, it's going to happen. I will will this with my fist. Uh, I said 78 to 66. I could honestly see something at like 60 to 40. It's going to be such a, it's going to be an awful basketball game. Correct. All right. On that note, uh, become a PHNX diehard. There's no better time to become a PHNX diehard. Go to go PHNX, get the discord, the chat, everything. I'm getting tagged. What is this? Tia Savea in the portal. Sorry, Mike. Are you hey, crying? there are some San Jose State guys on the roster that I actually was fairly in. I actually well, fairly can we in. just put it out there, even though yeah. we probably shouldn't? Uh, yeah, Trey sure. Smith on San Jose State. Look and him the up. Reason good. Putting, the reason we're putting it out there is not just because we want him to be on Arizona. He's from Mesa. Yeah. So we feel okay. He's a monster. Yeah. All Mountain West, first team, 66 tackles, 10 sacks, or 10 tackles for loss and six and a half sacks last season. Yeah, we'll take him. All right, yeah. on that note, for the great Jason Shear, Jason, stay out of trouble. I'm tired of moderating all this stuff. For Jason Shear, I am Mike Luke. I expect to get texts from you, but uh, just only te text me, though, with bad information. I don't care if, like, uh, you know, the, the – I don't care if an OKG enters. I just care about the other stuff. But on that note, for Jason Shear, for Mike Luke, myself, we will be back tomorrow with you on the post game. You've been listening to the AZ Wildcats podcast. We all silly like the mayor. 